dear students now i am going to explain how to perform the experiment for the determination of dielectric constant okay so let us start the experiment so what are the apparatus required for this experiment we are going to find the dielectric constant so first the board which is named it as dielectric constant of solid using frequency in this board we have one meter that is volt meter and this is the input signal frequency and this is the circuit later i will explain and on off switch for this board and next here only we are going to keep the sample okay now you see this is the capacitor we have two plates of the capacitor which is made up of brass material so in between these two plates of capacitor we are going to keep the sample so this is one capacitor with the large diameter and this is the another one smaller one okay here the diameter is very small here they mentioned p z t that is for the piezo electric material we are going to use this part so based on your sample we have to choose either it is the solid material or piezo electric material so accordingly we have to give the connections here right and the next i am going to show the samples dielectric samples that is this is piezo electric material its thickness is more right and then we have different materials so this is a teflon okay and this is the glass material and this is the acrylic material so four different samples we have to find the dielectric constant okay so this sample that means the bigger one we are going to keep in solid material in the place of solids okay this piezo electric material should be keep inside here okay so this is what the samples required for this experiment and then the connecting wires so we have to take the connecting wires now i will show the circuit diagram and how we have to give the connection in the board okay see this is the circuit diagram see here power supply that is the sine wave generator so with the frequency 10 kilohertz we are going to use for this experiment which is connected to the resistor and the resistor is connected to the parallel plate capacitor so in between the parallel plate capacitor we kept the dielectric sample and again it is connected to the signal generator only the three components one is the signal generator resistor and then capacitor with dielectric sample and then we are going to take only two values that is voltage across the capacitor here okay voltage across the capacitor and the second value is voltage across the resistor one is vc and another one is vr okay so first let us give the connection part so before giving the connection part you just compare the circuit diagram with this board see here signal generator the same circuit has given in this board also so signal generator is here and then connected to the resistor resistor is connected to the capacitor okay so this is what connection and here they mentioned m1 so how to give the connection let me explain step by step out of four samples first i am going to take this teflon sample this i am going to keep in between the plates of the capacitors okay so first keep this teflon sample and then tie by using this bolt so now i am going to give the connection so how to give the connection let us see so first one is signal generator so in this board they have mentioned signal generator here the frequency is 10 kilohertz so now one end of the signal generator is connected to one end of here okay the another end of the signal generator to the another end of here now you see the symbol also they mentioned in the board very easily you can able to give it so one positive to positive negative to negative i have given next one is capacitor also to be connected so capacitor already i mentioned here we kept the teflon so that this positive and negative terminal only we have to take okay so now take the two patch cords okay so positive terminal of this capacitor connected to positive terminal here and a negative terminal of the capacitor to the negative terminal of the capacitor here see here i used the teflon coating so that's what teflon plate that's what i kept here if i am using piezo electric this two wires to be shifted over here that is only the difference okay and next we have to connect the voltmeter so now first i am going to take vc value that means voltage across the capacitor listen carefully take the two patch cords so positive terminal to the 
M1 here. Here also they mentioned M1 and here also M1. I am going to take Vc, voltage across the capacitor. That's what? Positive to positive, negative to negative. That's it. This is what the connection we have to give to take the value of Vc. Once the connection is over, give the power supply. Switch on this board. Now the voltage is increasing. You just wait for a moment to take the values. Okay. So now it is almost 1.663. Okay. So please note down this value in this observation. So once the VC value is over, next we have to take down the VR value. So how to take the VR value? Just to see here one modification we have to do. Listen carefully. What is the modification we are going to do is first switch off this board. Okay, we have to take down the VR value. Listen carefully. This is the signal generator. Positive negative terminal is there. First, it should be interchanged to take the VR value. Listen, I just interchanged. Okay. Red, black. I just interchanged this. And the next step is, I am going to take the VR value across. That is voltage value across resistor. So, resistor is here only. So, we should take the resistor value how to take in the sense again meter 1 we have connected right this two terminals to be removed listen carefully and then here red and black in that way we have to give the connection so while giving the connection now this negative this two black that is power supply signal generator black as well as the resistor black both should be adjacent to each other so in that way we have to modify then only we should take the resistor value okay so once again i will repeat listen carefully how to do it first one is our signal generator connection it should be interchanged okay positive to negative negative to positive first step and the second step is the resistor uh, that means voltage across the resistor we have to calculate so black should come first negative terminal should go first and the positive terminal should come here okay once the connection is given now again switch on this board and just to take down this value okay so see here it is almost around 0.753 okay 0 0.753 now you see the two values we have taken one is voltage across the capacitor and another one is voltage across the resistor. So that's all our experiment is over. Now we have to do the calculation. So the calculation part I will explain in the next video. Thank you everyone.